What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon information video for you guys. So today, supposedly, on the PokeJungle.net website right now, well, there has been some leaks. Supposedly, leaks have been announced and revealed to us all. So, we get a lot of information in this leak. Um, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be talking about Rockruff, uh, new Alola forms, like Arcanine, Weezing, and stuff like that. I'll scroll down real quick, just before we get all into this information, just to show you guys, like, a rundown on what we're gonna be talking about here. I don't know if it's gonna be real or anything like that but some of these designs look absolutely incredible so we can finally see uh, the Alola um, starters evolutions here well that's what I'm going to take a look at uh, so we got Rowlets here on the left uh, and then we also have Littons here and Poplios kind of looks like something out of Dr. Seuss um, you know a cat in the heart or something like that it's something he would do but what I'm really interested in is this Alola form Arcanine it turns into a water type and supposedly in this league you can ride it as well. So that seems pretty interesting. And also, I don't know what this Pokemon is. Uh, possibly something, I don't know. But as we can see, Weezing here. Weezing is supposedly a... Um, a, a fire typing now, should I say, with coughing as well. So them two uh, are going to be fire types as well, and supposedly Grimer uh, gets a new form as well. So let's go ahead and take a look before we jump into all of this information. So let's go ahead and just quickly read this off for you guys. So Rockruff does have multiple evolutions. They do not feature in many designs. The evolution you get depends on the phase of the moon. Rockruffs have a strong limit with Z-stones and synchronized evolution. Rockruff's evolution is said to have a cow, a cowl that attached to its tail. Uh, the poster claims its body may be fairly different, but the cross on its chest stood out. So, what we're hearing, Rockruff is basically the EV of this generation, uh, and it, it makes sense because we did get some information, you know, saying Rockruff plays a real good part in Pokémon Sun and Moon. You know, he's going to have a real good ability. So, definitely, um, that does make sense to me. And it says he has a strong link with Zed Stones as well. So, yet again, um, this could be something, uh, you know, speculated and could be proven right. Just how Rockruff has evolutions in the vary depending on the phase of the moon, there's also a Pokemon that has evolutions that vary depending on the position of the sun during the day, dawn, noon or sunset, and it will evolve, It will not evolve at night. This Pokemon shoots seeds like a cannon. So that sounds pretty cool. Um, some areas of the Alola have strange weather and time conditions. One area will have a permanent sunlight as sunny day has been activated and the time does not pass, fog makes it come back. Which sounds really, really cool. So now we're going to go on to um, the new Alola forms that have been revealed to us. Well, not revealed, but leaked. Revealed, I want to say. Um, Paris and Parasect have become bug and fairy type, and it's said to be affected by Molul, which would make sense. I wouldn't mind a bug fairy type. I think that would be something really awesome. Um, Golem has become rock fire. Now, Golem is rock fire. That's something interesting. That definitely is something interesting. Uh, Coughing and Weezing both turned fire type, also they have been uncontaminated. So a, we a wheezing, you know, and going fire type would be something interesting as well. Grimer and Muck also become uncontaminated and pure ground type. So a ground type Muck, that sounds interesting. Uh, Solrock and Lunatone both receive new forms that are similar to Miner and have the same ability. New forms, Pokemon Sun, Moon. It'd be stupid not to include Solrock and Lunatone in these games. It really would. So now it's going to tell us about the new Poke Ride features. Um, Alola Arcanine can be ridden on hot waters. Arcanine zigzags get replaced with wavy patterns, and the turfs on its fur of its paws looks like waves. Mountains can be climbed with as of yet unseen rock and bug type spider monkey. There's also a mini game where you have to avoid falling boulders, which is the only way to catch an Alola Golem without trading. Ooh. Hippowden can be rode in a sand dungeon where players have to avoid sandy gas and paso land. That seems pretty interesting. Uh, there are four totem Pokemon uh, battles. Gumshoes, Luria, Lurantus, Wishy Washy and Unrevealed. Pure fire type looking pig that has lava flowing over its body. The pre-evolution of the pig Pokemon is said to roll in the lava, aching how to pig roll in mud. That sounds, that sounds similar, uh, you know, like they said there, you know, the pigs rolling about and rolling about in the lava. I think that would be something really interesting to touch on. Um, new details of the culinary revealed Pokemon. So Kamala evolves into a more bear-looking Pokemon called Imbenit, <laughs> uh, which doesn't sleep on a log and it throws it around. Uh, Pippi Peck has two evolutions, becoming more streamlined as it evolves and gaining a Steel type in its final cage called Fourth Drill. Uh, the middle stage is known as Pear Fowl. There's apparently a sub-quest in the game uh, to receive a player to explore Alola and find different markings on left and trees by the Pokemon, which is nice. That sounds nice. Uh, Pepperot is Monson's evolution and gains fire type, we, uh, fire type when it evolves. Tortonate has, has a pre-evolution called Cac 
Krakatuga and has a weak spot plus button on its stomach. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Now, these leaks that have been shown, so over here, I'm guessing this is Pipiket, uh, whatever it is called, um, evolutions there. Uh, these are the Starser evolutions, I want to say. Um, you know, but this is something really interesting. Like, all these designs have um, been drawn up and they look absolutely interesting. I'm not going to lie. Uh, opinion. It really is difficult to provide much of an opinion on stuff on the individual aspect. A lot has seemed in line with fans have speculated or can be interpreted or from official revealed information, such as mini games involved in Port Ride. Some of it seems a little given off what we already know. Only time will tell. Remember, we do not claim the information in post is legit. We are providing our readers and discuss their own thoughts. So, you know, like I said, this is this is not 100% real. This is just what supposedly has been leaked. You've got to you've got to roll with supposedly here and the fact like this is probably this is like this is like speculating what we want and supposedly what is supposed to happen. I want to see. So that is something along these. But that's really interesting. Let me know what you guys definitely think about this supposed leak uh, down below in the comment section. It's really interesting. I really do like all these Pokemon drawn up. Like the Alola, um, the Alola Arcanine sounds good. The the Golem being fire, that's absolutely incredible. And hopefully these starters uh, as well. So this is some super interesting news. You know, a lot of information has been uh, brought out. So remember, this is based on speculation and everything like that. So I, I, I've i said it to you guys, so don't hit me in the comment section down below. Uh, but that's all the time we have for in today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Of course, I'll put the Port Jungle uh, website down below in the description as well. So with all that being said, guys, I'm Infinitax. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.